This episode was not brought to you by Papage Farms. Remember when you hit that pedestrian with your car at the crosswalk and then just drove away? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some of these distinctive Milano cookies. Maybe this whole thing just disappears. <laughs> Hey yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello and today we're getting into another horror classic. <laughs> a lot of people talk about this horror movie a lot and then that's what we have scary movie. Why not go ahead and check it out and see exactly what is so iconic about this horror movie. And I also heard that they're going to be making a sequel to this movie. It's true. Pretty much like what they did with Halloween and what they're doing with a lot of movies. They're gonna retcon whatever other sequels, then that sequel is gonna be the official sequel, bro. If you like to see my full reaction to this movie, other movies I do, TV shows I do, you can click the link down in the description to my Patreon. With all that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into I Know What You Did Last Summer. Let's get it. <laughs> that boy was like, is that a camera? <laughs> I knew there had to be a remix of this song. Yo, this song is a bot, bro. I like this version. Ooh. Okay, that beat transition was fire. Oh, that's cool, man. This is I love you when you flicker that. It looked like a dog chain or something, bro. If we learned anything from John Wick, you know, dudes take their relationship with their dog serious. God damn, you're on the black. Oh, snap, that's Sarah Michelle Keller. Oh, okay, no wonder. She's one of the main characters anyway. I had no idea her breasts were so damp. I didn't know either. I thought she was scrawny as hell. I'm on sex is overload as it is. Kill the commentary. Dude, I mean, hey, if we know anything about breasts, Jennifer Love Hewitt, man. My goodness. Stop it. Get some help. At summer's end, I plan to move to New York City where I'll pursue a career as a serious actress. Through art, I shall serve my country. All right, I'll see you, Daphne. <laughs> Dang, and Fred is in this movie too. Watch Yo. Miss Helen Shiver. <laughs> Why don't y'all want to be down there with everybody else? Why y'all trying to be all the way up there? I mean, I'm saying you get like a better view, but being up there is kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, I know uh, Scary Movie did a parody of that scene, or I guess some scene where they were doing the contest. Yo, when I was a kid, I used to have a crush on Jennifer Love Hewitt, just like everybody else, man. How's my hair? Hurricane proof. Hey, those professional women types think it's all about brains and ability and completely ignore the dude. It looked like she lost like 20 pounds from the last scene. My goodness. <gasps> this little Miss Croker getting sauteed. Oh, snap, it's the girl from <laughs> Billy Madison. I wonder what she's doing now. God is punishing me. How about I take you out before you leave town? You know, kind of a bon voyage. Hey, it's the dude from The Big Bang Theory. Friend since forever. Now you can't just leave without a farewell, right? Bro, so you coming off like a f creep, man. Back up. Yo, chum big. Take a hike. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate the rescue, douchebag. Come on, man. You already know he got to break up the fight. That dude really about that smoke, bro. He was quick to throw them hands. Dude said, I ain't no nerd yet. I'm still in the streets. <laughs> Long, sharp hook for a hand. You're telling it wrong. It's not a scratching sound. It's a drip. Guy's been hung from a tree limb. The blood from his severed neck that's dripping on the car and it's going to drip. I mean, obviously none of y'all know the real story, so let's just change the subject. He was gutted with a hook. Bro, she got that cute ass smile, bro. My God. It's true. It's a fictional story created to warn young girls of the dangers of having premarital sex. Well, actually, honey. <laughs> she looked at her man like, <laughs> you ain't got to worry about me. I started quarterback for the Steelers. Cowboys. Whoever. Nah, Steelers all day. Who the hell want to go to the Cowboys? Where I'll let you impregnate me with the first of three children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then she going to take all your money, bro, and then have you pay child support. You can always ditch this Boston thing and uh, come to New York with me. How long is the train from Boston to New York? For some head shaven, black wearing, tattoo covered, body piercing philosophy student. That sounds attractive. <laughs> Gotta make sure she has some lip and tongue rings too. Well, the success rate of high school sweetheart relationships is higher than any other type of relationship. These motherfuckers do not look like no high school students. <laughs> 
How do you do, fellow kids? What? From the fortress of has anybody had sex on the beach? I haven't. I think it's kind of hard to do because there's so many people on the beach. Even like at night, I think it's kind of hard to do because so many other people want to do what you're doing. Unless it's just going to be a orgy or whatever. <laughs> Dang, bro. I wish I had a girl look at me like that. My goodness. All right, what the hell is this crap? Bro, put your seatbelt on, bro. Yo, that dude is alcoholic. The way he's just swinging them things back. Exactly. Put your freaking eyes on the road. Oh! There yeah. was an animal. Good, you're bleeding. Yeah, because he just had a body hit him, bro. He should be dead, too. That dude should be cut in half right now. Oh, my God. We hit a boat. Where's the foot? Jesus Christ, my f***ing car. Can't you see where you're going? Look, it came out of nowhere. I didn't see it. You're too busy looking at his junk. I was just trying to. My dad's going to freak on my ass. an accident. Leave him alone. Bro, what's up with Freddie Prince Jr.'s face, bro? <laughs> oh, there's no way. Oh my god, this isn't happening. So the acting is not all that good. Sorry to be such a disappointment. No, no. I... <laughs> what the f*** was that? <laughs> that girl screamed like she just saw her mama's body or something. Damn. Get an ambulance out here. Hey, hey, what's your heart? I like that dude's sweater or sweatshirt. He was crossing the road in the middle of the night. That boy was not crossing the road. This dude was walking in the middle of the damn street. We'll call the police. We'll tell them the truth. It's manslaughter. I think y'all all are getting locked up. We can clean it up. Listen to yourselves. No, we are going to the police. We don't have time for your <laughs> I'm trying to get in the moment, but all of them got these funny looking faces, bro. You lost it. Like, just pretend we were never here. The undertow could carry him out to sea. Like, I'm not like the rest of you. I don't have the family or the money to get me out of this. This is your future, Julie. Even though I've seen Scary Movie, I really don't know how this movie's gonna play out. It's Max. Get rid of him. Jennifer, flash him. Oh, doesn't look so new anymore. Yeah, don't drink and drive. Daddy's gonna be mad. <laughs> Man, take your creepy self home. What can I do for you, Max? You can wipe that my sh don't stink grin off your face. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, dude, you almost got that rich boy act down, right? But I can't take his nerdy looking self serious. I liked how the camera panned out and all of them was right there. That was, that was nice. I'll be eating my crabs and small fish. The heck was he doing just walking out in the middle of the street? Should we check his wallet and see who he is? I mean, that sounds reasonable. It's not too late. You! Just shut up! Christ already, I'll do it! <laughs> I can understand why they made uh, the, the dude a scary movie. Oh, sh you can't be serious like you really about to go into the water like that i ain't doing that oh my goodness and that dude really just watched him swim up that's one aggressive dude bro But yeah, like I was about to say, I can see why in Scary Movie they made that dude, like, abusive. <laughs> it's the way he just be talking to people, bro. Chill out. Chill yo we drunk self down. Oh, away. wow. He really Let put her, his it. hands on her. Go, Barry. You f***ing say it. Okay, Barry, we take this to the grave. Yo, you a bitch. You really let him put his hands on your woman like that. We're done. Hell no, we're done. Don't talk to me ever again, bro. You a bitch. Big for no f***ing reason, bro. Sissy ass boy. You have failed me as a boy. You have failed yourself as a man. Mm, so it was that guy who was spinning the thing. Okay. Come on. Move your tired, ugly ass girl. She should have went to a therapist after that because she really looked like that messed her up. Rightfully so, though. She got them Jada Pinkett braids. And you're going to get a tan on that pasty pale tail of yours. <laughs> First, you need to get your hair done. Look like you got split ends and everything. Look like your is falling out, girl. So I got a question for y'all. If some people ran you over and then threw you in the harbor, would you go back and kill them? Or would you just be like, hey, it is what it is? How's the snapper? Uh, unseasoned. <laughs> I, I really wanted monkfish, but uh, it's been a bad season. And the bread drugs. looks unseasoned too. <laughs> the summer session went really well. According to the dean, you only have one more chance. I also can't afford it, bro. You have worn me the f out. In a way, and you don't call, and you don't visit. Father must be turning over in his grave. Damn, bro, I know that really has to hurt that you feel like you can't tell nobody this. It's just eating her up inside, bro. You can see it. Ha <laughs> ha. There's no postmark or return address. 
your guess is as good as mine. Why? What does it say? Nothing. Say we're worried about your car extended warranty. How did this movie become so popular and so iconic that they wanted to remake it and then create a series? Like, what is it that you love about this movie so much? And I also think Scary Movie probably put this movie on a whole nother level as well by parodying it. It's called a glass. It breaks. Oh, we already know she about to die. If you need to speak with her, I suggest you go to Women's Fragrances, 10 feet to your left. Damn, you didn't go to New York? I know that probably messed your life up too. It didn't really work out. Nah, you was probably getting ate up inside. Probably Somebody the fact that you was getting me. ate up. You couldn't focus on what it is that you was know. trying to focus on, so you just came back. What if somebody saw us? What if somebody else was there that night? Or how about the dude who was still oh, alive when we threw him in the water? I saw his car the other day at the gym. Oh, she looked good as hell with that fit. What are you two doing here? That dude looked like a rejected in sync back to her. <laughs> Hi, Bear. You end up breaking up after that? This is nothing. I know what you did last summer. Ooh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. He said it. He said it. His name was David Egan. His body was caught in a shrimp net not far from Miller's dock. I think the police called it an accidental drowning. You can call it an accident all you want, but he died because of us, that's certain. You sure it was him though? Sure it wasn't somebody else? Like, what was he wearing? We broke up and last I heard he was working up north. Good on you, girl. Cause Let's I definitely wouldn't be with that dude. Sure. After he saw somebody Let's put their hands on me, he didn't do Max. This dude, Max ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. Ah! The way he reacted, I think he actually hit his head against that ice. I don't know if that was scripted. No problem. Oh, get the f off me! Get off of me! Understand? Damn, you doing the most, bro? Chill out, bro. I understand you're haunted by this whole thing, but you acting like you the one who ran that dude over. I scared the f out of him. All right. <laughs> it didn't seem like you scared him. It looked like he was trying to fight. Right. Fuck you. I'm tired of your presence. Dismissed. I'll work on that one over there. On the end. Yeah, I don't think I asked. Guys, I'm out of here. You got a minute? Hell no. Nah. For little back boys? Back. Nope. I'm good. I want a man. <laughs> no, I'm responsible for my own actions and I don't blame you. But I don't want to know you either. She doesn't want anything to do with that situation, doesn't want to be reminded by that situation from anything. That's why she pretty much wants to get out of here as soon as she can. <laughs> Damn, is he gonna kill him? Probably gonna be like, you know, since he drove past there, he could have did something. Oh, damn! Oh my God! Yo! Oh, shit. Damn the crabs, bro. That's a bad batch of crabs now, bro. You got to throw those away. Damn it. Unless they just gonna wash them and be like, shush. What they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> What the hell is this dude doing? <laughs> Yo, I know they were parodying this scene right here too. I really didn't think he was gonna kill that dude that quick. I thought he was gonna go all the way to the end. I thought they was gonna try to like build it up like, oh, he could be the killer and then he got killed. But nope, they didn't do that. One thing I will say is like, I know this dude can't go to the cops and report him because he doesn't have any proof. So he pretty much just took it into his own hands to be like, I'm gonna just kill him. This old man fast, bro. How you fast after I hit your ass with a car, bro? You should be limping. Jacket. Why don't you just run to the side, bro? Why are you just running down the street? I would have been ran to the side. About damn time. Payback a bitch! Damn! <laughs> Dang, he really about to kill you right there? I'll say that costume or his attire is pretty scary. You know, he ain't trying to show his face. No, I couldn't see his face. You left him alive? Why? He's just f***ing with us. Who is? I don't know, some guy in a slicker. So he, he wants to torture him, wants him to suffer. You are not gonna throw this on me. Come on guys, please don't do this. This isn't getting us anywhere. Yo, that top that Jennifer Love Hewitt get on is absolutely fire, bro. What top is that, bro? If y'all can let me know, I'll look that up so I can buy that for like my mom or something. Or like like a friend or whatever. Pay attention, pay attention. I said we find the f who's doing this and have a little one-on-one. -on -one. What, like last night, Bear? 
you. No. <laughs> yeah, keep that same energy, bro. You was over there crying like a bitch, saying, please. And to be honest with you, I was somewhat kind of worried if they was actually going to show a pic like they did in a scary movie. Two years ago, what's this? Susie Willis died of drowning. She was trapped in a car after it skidded out of control in the reefs near Dawson's Beach. I remember that wreck two summers ago. That's all you add on to that? Is that you remember that two summers ago after I just read that it was two years ago? Okay. Turn right. Where? Back there. That's crazy, man. People had to look at the map to know where to go, bruh. Now you got GPS. I wouldn't even know how to read the map. Like, yo, what the hell? I'll be feeling overwhelmed. Can I help you? Uh, our car stalled down the road, and we were just wondering if maybe we could use your phone. It was all up in they damn house, bruh. What the hell? Y'all look so sus, bro. Just seat. get to work, whatever you're trying to do. Did you have a, a brother? I did, but he was younger than me. This dude looked like an old man. She looked so young. Well, my dad died a long time ago. My mama, she's too well to what happened with David. That can't be the same guy. How's that your younger brother? That was an old man that we hit. Didn't he hang out with this guy? God, what was his name? Oh, I... I <laughs> you you trying to get her to say the name? So you'd be like, oh, yeah, that. <laughs> he came to pay his respects, but I think it hurt him to be around me. I mean, that's kind of crazy. He comes to pay respects to your brother and y'all end up f***ing wow billy blue anytime you know I, I don't get too many knocks on my door nowadays yeah i can see why you need to clean this bitch. do you see what we've done it was an accident hey what the f girl why would you do that Are your cigarettes thank you You're rude as hell. Why would you just slam on my freaking car like that? Could have just knocked on the window. Maybe he wanted to die. His girlfriend was killed on that same road July 4th, one year earlier. Maybe he was sitting in the road waiting for us to hit him. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that myself. What happened between us? Uh, we killed somebody. The f <laughs> What type of question is that? I miss you. Dude, I miss not seeing a dead body too, but hey, you don't hear me say anything about that? They got the TV on the left ear right here. Into the box. Right One to nothing here in the third. Here's the pitch. <laughs> Boy, he's like, girl, what I tell you about talking to me when I'm watching the game? Sign and the pitch. Foul ball. Especially that dude is in a whole other world. That dude been sitting there for three days watching this same game. You know how long baseball games are. It takes forever. I know what you did last summer brought to you by Diet Coke. They thought they were slick right there. Why is the door not locked? It's like a Coke commercial right here. <laughs> Sign. Drinking and go. Ah. Just for the taste of it, diet coke. Ah. <laughs> yeah. oh, of course, hiding in the closet. Classic. That boy was beating his meat. That's why he's breathing so damn heavy. <gasps> what the hell? Dried out has been having a moment. Oh, y'all sisters? I want you there by 10. The outgoing queen has to ride in the parade prior to the pageant. It's basically like she doesn't want you to freaking be in the pageant. It is so pathetic. You can leave now. So very pathetic. Hey, what is it about the sibling relationship, bro, where we just hate each other, man? <laughs> it's like you really just can't stand your sibling. Bro, you really stood in her closet the whole night? I know your feet hurt. That boy was probably was falling asleep in her damn closet and shit. <laughs> damn! Oh, sh Now that is some payback right there. My God, damn. I think that was a little bit too far, bro. You messed her hair up before the pageant. And it was like, here, since you wanted this damn crown so damn bad, put it on top of her head when she was asleep. Bro, look at the road. Probably a raccoon in your trunk. That has to be like a possum or something. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh my God. Something I definitely was not expecting. That's straight cold. Why don't you slow the f down, bro? You the one paying attention to the road. 
destroying this deck. Don't ask me that again. Why didn't you drive to the house? Why did you run there? I already knew he was going to clean this shit out. My goodness. <laughs> and he was wearing your jacket, Barry. Just out there, and he's watching us and waiting. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Just, all I could think about was scary movie, bro. <laughs> what am I waiting for? For you! Oh. Hey, that was some soft ground right there. Hey, oh. stop it! Look, what are you doing? Stop it! He's behind this. How many f***ed up fishermen are out there? Look, he's after me too. W was there anybody oh, yeah. actually falling for this? I'm not falling for it one bit. Like, why would he be after y'all? You killed Max. You took my jacket. Max is dead? Bro, what's Who's up with his acting? Yo, he, he has the same friend, face. Oh, f*** you. Stop it. <laughs> he has the same f***ing face. <laughs> we think his name is Billy Blue. How do you know that? That's him, huh? She could point him out. You've got that parade today. You need to be there in case he shows up. I don't want him to show up. Look, Helen, this could be our chance. This movie definitely lets you know it's the 90s with that hat she got on. <laughs> out of all the things you could wear, you choose that hat. Let's make the right one this time. I'm not interested in what's right anymore, Ray. I want to do what's smart. Then let's get the hell out of here. We can leave town. Disappear. I've already disappeared. Okay, now I want my life back. Yeah, running away ain't gonna do nothing, bro. That stuff actually made her, like, super depressed. And then the way that he found out about all y'all, he'll probably find y'all wherever y'all run, too. If that dude really wanted to mess her up, he should have shaved her bald, bro. Because, I mean, she did pretty good making her hair look nice. Bro, you really about to chase this dude like you gonna do something with your scrawny self? Really? <laughs> you do that old man like that, bro? He's about to get him in a heart attack. <laughs> dude, eyes rolled in the back of his head. That dude's about to die. What the hell? How the hell did he disappear so quick like that? My girl, don't you lie to me. Tell me what, what the hell? Yo, where does this movie take place? Because this girl lives like she in the bayou. But then that's when they talking about Boston and New York and stuff. Is this movie in the south and they're just like by the harbor? I thought this was probably like up north. What the hell, bitch? What is up with you? Why are you wearing that, dude? I know you hot. Bro, that is an old man, bro. Like, how is he the younger brother? I'm still on that. What happened to your brother wasn't an accident. There's more to it than that. I know. He went up there to die that night. That's where Susie died. See, the whole town blamed him for her death. He left his note. So if he wanted to end his life and he wanted to get hit by a car because that's why he was standing in the middle of the damn street, why are you coming at me trying to kill me? This is a death threat. We hit him. It was an accident. No, he had Susie tattooed on his arm. Tattoo? He doesn't have a tattoo. Get out of my house. I'm not even in your house. What? <laughs> this girl is crazy. Do you even take showers? It wasn't your brother. Exactly, duh. I've been through that. So somebody saw you run that dude over and threw him in the water. And they're just like, yo, that's kind of messed up. I'm going to kill these people now. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Move into the talent competition. All right, ladies. Uh-oh, here we go with another scary movie scene. Girl, you going to start singing? Baby, look at me. Oh, nah, just keep walking. God, kill me. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you feel like she's trying to upstage her? Like, you know a dude is trying to kill y'all. Why would you be up there by yourself? Stupid! Y'all so, so stupid. Killing who? Up in the balcony! Why are y'all grabbing her? Let her go, bruh! Damn, get off me! The f*** you grabbing her for? Like, what was the whole point of that? There's no blood on the floor? This dude didn't have a mop in his pocket. Who was Fisherman, he? Fisherman, he killed Barry. Barry who? Who are we talking about? There's nobody up here. Come on, let's go back downstairs. Come on, come on. There's nobody up here. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. So there's no blood on the floor, but there's blood right there. Okay. We'll be needing this. She can't compete again. It's only like a one-time thing. The fisherman guy used the same hook to cut all your hair off. No, we used scissors out. <laughs> Wow, that's funny. All right, he was probably just playing a prank on you. That makes no sense. Wh who would do that? Listen, I'm just going to be a minute, all right? Let's see if this fella needs help. 
Hey, girl, you ain't paying attention. You see the dude get on this fit. I would've been like, hey, yo, chill out. I don't know about that guy right there because that's the type of dudes we've been looking for. Oh my God. Oh, damn. Better find a way to break that glass. You didn't have to kill the cop, bruh. I'm survived by her father, Benjamin, a local fisherman. So that's her dad? I'm coming. I'm being attacked! You telling me you didn't see that big ass dude right there? He was right there. You was looking through the door. You didn't see him? How'd you get in here? Golly, I told you I knew she was gonna die. Damn, you killed her sister. Damn, bro, that's doing too much. Dragging her body like that. Elsa? This girl suffered the most torment out of everybody. Girl, you better break that damn window. <laughs> Why they have him jump out like that? <laughs> this movie done turned up, bro. Yo, this old man is fast, bruh. Girl, you better jump out that window. I know that had to hurt. I'm surprised she didn't get knocked out. Where's the other guy at, man? I understand they've been blowing him off, but he's still a part of this too. Oh my God, bro. That alley is scary. Go, what are you doing? You're so close. <laughs> I understand it's loud because of the music and the fireworks, but you tell me nobody can't hear y'all right there? Nobody can't see y'all right there? No! I know there's probably somebody who was just playing the drum, looked over like, what the hell? He just kept going. None of my business. You think this Willis guy killed David and we killed him? Yeah, but what if he didn't die, Ray? What if he's still alive? Oh, yeah, because he was there trying to pay respects for his daughter, you know, because that's where she got killed, so he goes there. Come inside. No, we've got to find Helen and Barry. We will. Why are you coming off like a creep, bro? Oh my God, it's you. Oh, no wonder he was talking about that name. He was like, how you know that? What the hell? Bro, what was you trying to do, man? Oh! Please, I need to call the police. I think that's the killer right there. Inside, hurry! Crazy how you just listen to a stranger, just get on his boat. You know somebody's trying to kill you. Bro, a lot of these pictures were taken today, bro. And you put them on there right this same day? My goodness, you've been busy trying to kill somebody. How'd you find the time? Kids like you should be out having fun, drinking, party, getting away with murder, things like that. Bro, you are petty as hell, man. Girl, just jump off. You acting like you can't swim. The currents must be really strong. That's probably what it is. So I think he killed his daughter's boyfriend because he probably feels like his daughter would have been alive if she didn't have him. You know, like he feels like he's responsible. I didn't think the movie was gonna end like this, but I I'm liking it. <laughs> Why would you call my name? You see, I'm fighting right now. I hate when they do that in movies, bruh. Damn, bitch, you just got me killed. Boy, you got a rusty ass shit, bro. You need to clean this. Girl, why don't you just go? Why do you always gotta look back? Oh my Lord. Who is that? <laughs> this is where he has the body. You need to stop playing so much, bro. If you're gonna kill us, kill us. Golly. That boy's knocked out. He's not dead, though, because he's a tough one. Dude, get that rock hard head. I will say this dude, Ray, he, uh. 
Redeemed himself, man. Oh my god. Now he really has a hook for a hand. The way that that ended off, it seemed like they wanted a sequel. We never killed anyone. This whole year was for... I know. I had to know who he was. That's why I went to see Missy. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but I wanted you back. So finding out who he was is your way of trying to get me back? What? You could have just called me. What the? Could have just sent me a letter. I mean, you actually fought for her that time, so I respect it. Idea why this man would want you dead? No. None. <laughs> well, don't worry. The body will turn up. Yeah, that body did turn up for the sequel with a hook for her hand, like Candyman. Yes, I do. God, I love you. Damn. I that. Hey, Julie, you got the mail. Great. Don't you start with me. Look, you mister can ravage me in two weeks. Damn, I'm trying to ravage you right now with that chrome dome you got. This dude is a premier stalker. Like, how do you be knowing where I am? <laughs> what? Okay. See you in part two. Oh, I thought the movie's gonna end right there. Girl, if you don't run out of there. Yeah, I already knew that was gonna happen. Hell, well, there we go. I checked it out finally. It was cool. I mean, it scared me a couple times. I mean, it got me one good time towards the end. Like, uh, that was a good ass uh, jump scare. Can't wait to hear your thoughts, bro. If you enjoyed watching this movie with me and you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I'm more videos and follow me on all my social media links will be down in the description below. Yo, there we go with I Know What You Did Last Summer, man. I'm glad I finally got to watch it to see what a lot of people like about it. And a lot of scenes reminded me of scary movies, so I couldn't really take it serious. I know there's some people that's probably gonna feel a certain type of way that i saw a scary movie before watching this they probably feel like i didn't respect this movie like it should have been respected to them or they just feel like oh that's why you didn't get the jokes in scary movie there and the thing is i did get the jokes bro like it, it, the jokes were still hilarious to me if i could laugh at your jokes without even knowing exactly what the hell you're referencing like you did a good job with the joke bro um like i understand that it might intensify the laugh if i know exactly what you're doing and like what you're referencing yeah i understand it but i still laugh but anyways the acting in this movie was so so like sometimes it was okay at best i like the cast in this movie and then like the lot the stories that they were bringing up earlier in the movie for them to actually fulfill that story where now he actually has a hook for a hand i think was a nice little callback so can't wait to hear your thoughts what other movies do you want us to check out like what's your favorite 90s horror movie if you like to see my full link reaction to this movie other movies i do tv shows i do you can click the link down below in the description to my patreon uh, i don't really think they did that good of a job building tension like i wanted them to i would actually go ahead and give this movie a b minus but with all that being said i'll see you on the next one all right peace